was so clear that he was the only one for me. We both knew it right away. And as the years went on, things got more difficult. We were faced with more challenges. But upon an unfortunate series of events, saw those dreams dashed and divided like a million stars in the night sky that I wished on over and over again, sparkling and broken. But I didn't really mind because I knew that it takes getting everything you ever wanted and then losing it to know what true freedom is. When the people I used to know found out what I had been doing, how I had been living, they asked me why. But there's no use in talking to people who have a home. They have no idea what it's like to seek safety in other people. For home to be wherever you lie your head. I was always an unusual girl. My mother told me I had a chameleon soul. No moral compass pointing due north. No fixed personality. Just an inner indecisiveness that was as wide and as wavering as the ocean. Because I was born to be the other woman. Who belonged to no one. Who belonged to everyone. Who had nothing. Who wanted everything. With a fire for every experience and an obsession for freedom that terrified me to the point that I couldn't even talk about and pushed me to a nomadic point of madness that both dazzled and dizzied me. And when I'm at war with myself, I ride. I just ride. I am fucking crazy, but I am free. And I still love him. I love him.